Hello friends, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Jango World. So in yesterday's video, we have entered data in our database. So in today's video, we are going to bring that data from our database and render that data in our templates. So let's get started with the video. So first, get rid of this HTTP response. We don't need that and we will import models here. Okay, so from dot models import blog and blog comment now i will get rid of this imp because it auto imported when i return this imp while writing the import so i will do this okay now after importing this model first we need to render data in our page so we will come to home blog home uh, method and here create one variable first so all underscore blocks okay equals to to fetch all data we will write blog our model name dot objects dot all so this query basically brings all data from our database and if I will print here all underscore blog then you will come to know in terminal so i will run server for that run server and i will click on this link and you can see we have got a query over here, the data which we have written in our database okay now here we got all the data so we will pass this variable in our render so render again takes one another argument which is our context variable here you can pass all, all your database data using dictionary like passing dictionary over here only i will write this as a key and this variable as a value you can pass like this way also and you can create dictionary over here context is equals to directly this paste it over here and take this context variable and paste that in render function by this way also we can pass the data okay so this is recommended approach because you will be having many variables which we need to pass in our template and we need to render it. Now once we have set this, go to templates main and blog underscore home dot html. Now here we you know need to get rid of one card because we are going to do for loop over here. So I'll remove this last card and I will just cut this so okay let it be don't cut i will write here for okay and i will give one variable as data in all underscore data is that variable <laughs> okay yeah is or sorry or underscore block so i will write all underscore block you can give different key over here if I write blogs, then also it will be accept. So I will do here blogs only. Now take this end for cut this and paste this after the ending tag of this tag. Okay. Now save this, come over here and refresh. You can see we have three cards because in our admin panel, if I show you, in our admin panel, we have three blocks okay so that's why they are showing you three blocks so you can see the designing error these both cards are touching each other so we need to remove that so we will give m by one great i don't think so we need this class i will go to get bootstrap.com and i will search for margin top and 
this viewers it's empty okay so empty hyphen one now it should yeah now it's fine okay so here we have the three cards but they are not not displaying the titles so here what we will do is we will remove this and in double curly braces we will access all the data all our title and name using this variable because all the blocks data are stored in this variable point if you know concept of for loop in python okay so we i will open the model i will copy this name variable and here in cur double curly braces i will write data dot name save this and come over here and refresh you can see we got title over here okay we now we need our description here so we will write double curly braces and in here we will go do it data dot description okay refresh so these cards are now uh, spread it be so we have one another variable here it's truncate word truncate characters and truncate words so i will just give truncate words and i will say it 20 maybe save it refresh or uh, truncate words mm -hmm. okay. this way yeah so here it will take only 20 words now all right so we have one another thing like truncate words we have truncate characters so it will take 20 characters only so i will use this character thing and i will give it as a trait refresh okay so our cards are now in limited form so yeah now we will display author below the title so here i will take a small tag and i will give data dot author come over and refresh okay so we have got the author now here i will do one thing go to components and uh, go to badges now here i will take the spam tag of success okay and place it under the title and i will take this author name and replace it with the success okay now come over here and refresh now you can see our author name is now perfectly visible okay so this is it for today's video guys so in next video once the user clicks this read more button then it should get this whole article on the blog detail page okay so yeah in next video we are going to see how we can uh, render dynamic uh, data on this uh, blog detail page so if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next thank you